children how are you i hope that everybody are fine staying at home okay children i am back again with new session on our lesson 6 how plants make food so children i hope that you have understood the last video how the plants are preparing food and in what way the food is been eaten by us yes we have learned what are the things uh the plant require to undergo the process of photosynthesis so children the food which is prepared by the plants is stored in the different parts of the plant i said no children so it is stored in the form of starch pronounce the children starch the food that is prepared by the plants is stored in the form of starch s t a r c h starch so what is this starch where do this starch is stored this starch is stored in fruits okay seeds leaves roots stems so where is the starch is stored children it is stored in the fruits seeds leaves roots and stems okay so we eat food from plants means we are actually eating what we are actually eating children we are eating sugar and starch okay we are actually eating what children sugar and the starch which is prepared and stored in these parts of the plant okay s t a r c h starch children do you know the plants are having a name what is the name of the plants children food factories plants are also called as food factories food factories why they are called as food factories children why because we know the factories prepare different kinds of uh, things avuna kada manaki chaala rakalaina things mana daily useful ga unna things ani manaki ekkadi nunchi prepare ayi vastayi pedda pedda factories lo nunchi avuna so manaki food ekkadi nunchi vastundi we are getting food from the plants so plants are called as food factories plants are called as food factories so if you see children there are hundreds and thousands and lakhs of plants all over the world prati country lo unnai prati place lo unnai prati daggara kuda rakarakala chettlu unnai avuna kada so they are some word are uh, herbs shrubs climbers trees avuna kada okokka chettlu unchi okokka kind of things manam ఇష్టపడుతున్నాం చూడండి సీడ్స్ తింటాం ఫ్రూట్స్ తింటాం ఫ్లవర్స్ తింటాం స్టెమ్స్ తింటాం లీఫీ వెజిటేబుల్స్ లో లీవ్స్ కూడా తింటున్నాం ఎస్ చిల్డ్రన్ సో వీ ఆర్ ఈటింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్లాంట్ ఎస్ ఓకే సో ప్లాంట్స్ ఆర్ ద ఫుడ్ ఫ్యాక్టరీస్ ఆఫ్ ద లివింగ్ థింగ్స్ మనకి ఎక్కడి నుంచి వస్తుంది ద మెయిన్ సోర్స్ ద మెయిన్ సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫుడ్ ఈస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ప్లాంట్స్ and these plants are called as food factories and in which form the food is stored children in the form of starch in the form of starch s t a r c h starch s t a r c h starch so children now we will go to the next topic what is our next topic plants and animals plants and animals depend on each other depend on each other yes children do plants and animals depend on each other in what way for example we will take a goat what does goat give children milk right so who will drink this milk the small baby goats 
yes and also some people also drink this milk okay if you take goat sheep cow buffalo all these are milk giving animals yes so even the camel also the camel also gives us milk do you know that children okay so this milk is taken by the animals yes animals means human beings we are social animals children what are human beings children human beings are social animals we have more knowledge okay and now children i'll ask you a question what food did these domestic animals eat etlanti food tintai cows buffaloes em food tintunai chapanni yes plants avuna these cows or buffaloes or the goats or the camels they feed upon plants like grass gaddi tintai avuna chusara meer eppudu chusara buffaloes cows em tintunai what they are eating they are eating green grass yes so we can say that animals and plants depend on each other chapacha avuna kada okay and now children i have said that animals depend on plants okay so animals are depending on plants then ki for food for food yes animals depend on plants okay animals depend on plants for food chusam kada cows buffaloes anni avuna okay mari ippudu plants depend on animals elaga chapandi how how it is depending plants depend on animals ela how they will depend children i said that in the process of photosynthesis what i said carbon dioxide is taken by the plants and gives us oxygen avuna avuna kada plants give us oxygen oxygen ee oxygen ever theesukuntunaru ee oxygen ever theesukuntunaru animals yes so plants give us oxygen and this oxygen is taken by the animals mar animals em istrai animals give carbon dioxide what are animals giving children animals give carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is used by plants is used by plants enduku use chestai animals give carbon dioxide who is giving carbon dioxide children animals okay ee carbon dioxide ever theesukuntunaru who is taking this plants why why they are taking for preparing food avuna kada for preparing food so now plants are dependent on animals unnaya plants depends on animals yes ikkada animals plants me depend ayyadi devi kosam food kosam plants animals me depend ayyadi endu kosam carbon dioxide kosam why because this carbon dioxide is used by the plants for preparing food animals give out carbon dioxide ikkada animals ante only jantule kaadu it includes humans also manushulu kuda untaru okay animals or humans they give out carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide is used by plants okay so these omnivores are animals that eat both plants and animals okay 
So for example, children, if you see human beings, we are eating both plants and animals. Auna? Manu vegetables or fruits in term. So directly or indirectly, we are eating the plants. Yes. And also fish, meat, eggs, all these are animal products. Means we are also eating animals. Right? Manam chicken tindama? Chicken mar animal in a Okay, it's a kind of bird which comes under animal category. So children, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores. So here, if you see the eating habit of these animals, here you can see the interdependency. And then, wakadani me the wakati dependai untunai. Okay, wakadani me the wakati dependai untunai. Plants, plants ni animals tintunai. Auna, plants ni ever tintunaru. Animals tintunai. Animals which are products and nitli like carbon dioxide, simply it is taken. Taken by the plants. So, in the nature. Okay. So, here the herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. So, what are they are dependent on? They are directly depending upon the plants. And uh, for the carbon dioxide, the, animal, uh, so the plants are dependent on the animals. So, children here the dependency or the flow of the food chain is being seen. In the food chain... We see producers. Producers. Next comes the consumers. And next comes the decomposers. Decomposers. Okay. So what are the producers? Producers are always the plants. Producers are always the plants. What are the consumers? The consumers comes under animals. Sorry. The animals comes under the consumers. And once these plants and animals are dead, these two are being decomposed by the decomposers. Okay, children. So, if we decompose, I pay in the AMI potay, you put plants gani, animals gani, church pay and condi. I may may call in church pay, matilla culls pay, undipotanaya, boom me that laga. No, they cannot stay. They have to be decomposed and they have to be mixed up in the soil again. Yes, in which in the same soil again the producers will start growing. And these producers depend on the, sorry, the consumers depend on these producers. And they, if, when both are dead, the decomposers takes their place. We rend it in So it is a process of a chain which comes under the category called as food chain. Okay, children. So if rain chalutin here, the nature is doing some balance between the plants and the animals. Animals tanki poi plants and the increase I pay and condi. Can the plants survive? Can the plants they cannot survive without making food? And this food can be prepared from the carbon dioxide. Without carbon dioxide, plants food ne prepare chest polyu. So animals are equal carbon dioxide. Auna? Auna kara. Okay, well, imagine. Animals are not chet lani chachpay. Can animals survive? No, they cannot survive. Why? Because if plants untene, our plants tene herbivores brathutai. Our herbivores menene carnivores brathutai. If herbivores or carnivores untene omnivores brathagigalo. So it is an interdependency. What it is called, children? Inter. Dependency. Interdependency means nothing but one thing depend on the other thing. Plants me the animals depend out ne. Animals me the plants depend out ne. So here if the nature will not balance these both things. What will happen? There will be a disturbance in the nature. So the nature's work is to balance the number of plants, vice versa, equal to the number of animals. If you See, if you go to a shop, you want to buy some commodity. What are the shopkeeper will do? He will measure them. Rendu samananga balance chest. Will you take it? No. So it is not equal. So always there should be some equality between the nature. Okay. 
there should be some equality between the plants and the animals because animals depend on plants and plants depend on the animals okay children okay so up to now we have learned about how the plants are dependent on animals and how the animals are dependent on plants so children here we have to learn about a important point like called as food chain what it is children food chain what is this food chain before we learn about the food chain there are few terms that we have to learn about okay what are those herbivores what are those children herbivores next one carnivores carnivores next one omnivores well, who are those children omnivores okay what are these herbivores h e r b i v o r e s herbivores the animals which depend on green grass or green plants green grass or plants as food okay the animals which depend upon green grass or plants for food are called as herbivores ante herbivores ante em ledu gatti tine jantulu chapandi how many animals do you know like cow goat buffalo sheep yes donkey horse camel all these are herbivores means they eat mostly plants they eat mostly plants adi gaddi kavachu chinna chinna mokkalu kavachu pedda pedda chettlu kavachu okay next one carnivores what it is children carnivores here what are these carnivores c a r n i v o r e s carnivores c a r n i v o r e s carnivores so what are these carnivores the carnivores are animals which depend on other animals for food De sorry depend on depend on other animals and children for example lion what do a lion eat a lion will kill the rabbits or jackal right children so it is depending upon other animal for food and they flesh eaters and chapachu simply carnivores can be said as flesh eater mamsamu tine jantulu so mamsamu tine jantulu ante chudandi lion tiger leopard yes all these are animals mostly the carnivorous animals which live in the jungle okay which live in the jungle mostly depend on other animals for food they mostly depend on other animals for food so such animals are called as carnivores what are those called children carnivores okay now the next kind of animals these are called as omnivores what are these called children omnivores o m n i v o r e s omnivores o m n i v o r e s omnivores so what are these omnivores these are animals that eat that eat both plants and animals that eat both plants and animals ee jantulu em chestay ante plants ni tintayi animals ni kuda tintayi okay omnivores animals that eat both plants and animals omnivores that eat both plants and animals okay for example human beings we are eating vegetables which are coming from the plants yes children and also we eat chicken mutton fish yes okay children now let us see page number 43 if you observe there children there is a activity given for you i said that plants prepare food and also 
the food prepared by the plants is stored in the leaves of the plants and also different parts of the body here the food is stored in the form of starch yes to prove that a test for a leaf for starch which is showing that without sunlight we cannot sorry the leaves cannot prepare food so to do a test for this we have given an activity in page number 43 so children let us see that okay aim to test a leaf for starch and show that light is needed for photosynthesis so children all the plants any kind of plant it have to prepare the food only through the process called as photosynthesis yes it is preparing by using the method called as photosynthesis so here for doing this activity what are the materials that are required here the materials required are a potted plant you can clearly see in the picture and also black paper a beaker of water a beaker of alcohol a burner a saucer an ink dropper and iodine solution so children this experiment we cannot do at home but we can prove it in an science laboratory as it is given in your textbook i need to explain it so we will go through it and learn just seeing it virtually okay method first what we have to do we have to place the potted plant in a dark place so that it uses up any starch it has already produced oka vela sunlight lo pettam ankonde kotta ga starch ni prepare chestadi avuna ఒకవేళ చీకట్లో పెట్టామనుకోండి సన్లైట్ పడదు కదా ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఈస్ ప్రాపర్ సన్లైట్ ఓన్లీ ద ప్లాంట్ కెన్ ప్రిపేర్ ఫుడ్ ఎస్ చిల్డ్రన్ సో వీ ఆర్ ప్లేసింగ్ దిస్ పాట్ ఆఫ్ ప్లాంట్ ఇన్ ఎ డార్క్ ప్లేస్ ఓకే వేర్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో సన్లైట్ ఇప్పుడు ఏమైపోతుంది ఆల్రెడీ చెట్టులో ఉన్న ఫుడ్ దట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ స్టార్చ్ కావాలి కదా ఆకలి వేస్తుంది కదా మరి దానికి కూడా సో అదంతా యూస్ చేసుకుంటుంది ఓకే now the second step cover part of a leaf with black paper so that light cannot reach it ipudu em cheyalante oka leaf ni oka black paper teeskunam kada we have to cover the leaf with a black paper as shown in the picture okay third point now place the plant in sunlight for few hours and then pluck the covered leaf so now we are transferring after covering the leaf with black paper we will remove it and we will place it in the sunlight as soon as the plant is kept in the sunlight it starts preparing food by using the process called as photosynthesis why because it requires sunlight water carbon dioxide and also the chlorophyll which is present in the leaf itself okay now after putting the plant with one leaf covered with black paper in the sunlight wait for 2 to 3 hours next pluck the leaf which is covered with a paper now what we have to do is we have to take this leaf and we have to boil the leaf for few minutes which is containing first in water and then in alcohol ee tempes naakini first water lo boil cheyali tarvata alcohol solution lo kuda boil cheyali so while doing this one what happens the alcohol will bleach the leaf ante a leaf meedunna color antatni remove chesestund anamata because of the presence of alcohol after doing this process what we will do we will take out the leaf and wash it in cold water ipudu ila tempesna aakuni em chesamo boil chesam kada water lo tarvata alcohol lo kuda boil chesam 
సో దాని అంతా ఒక పల్చటి లైక్ పైన ఉన్న కలర్ అంతా పోతుంది పోయి ఇప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తాం ఆకును తీసుకెళ్ళి వీ హ్యావ్ టు వాష్ ఇట్ ఇన్ కోల్డ్ రన్నింగ్ వాటర్ ఓకే లాస్ట్ స్టెప్ యాడ్ అ ఫ్యూ డ్రాప్స్ ఆఫ్ అయోడిన్ సొల్యూషన్ టు ద లీఫ్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ ఇంక్ డ్రాపర్ ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ ఉన్న లీఫ్ని అంటే వాటర్లోని ఆల్కహాల్లోని బాయిల్ చేసి వాటర్తో వాష్ చేసి ఫ్రెష్గా ఉన్న ఈ లీఫ్ని ఏం చేయాలి ఇప్పుడు మనం వీ హ్యావ్ టు యాడ్ ద ఆయోడిన్ సొల్యూషన్ ఓకే చిల్డ్రన్ ఆఫ్టర్ డూయింగ్ ఆర్ యాడింగ్ దిస్ అయోడిన్ సొల్యూషన్ టు ద ప్లా సారీ లీఫ్ వాట్ వీ విల్ అబ్జర్వ్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద థింగ్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కవర్డ్ బై డూయింగ్ దిస్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ సి వీ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ conclusions and observations okay we will notice that the uncovered part of the leaf turns blue black in color ikka chudandi picture lo a leaf yokka colors chudandi etla undo ekkadaithe manamu close chesi pettamo black color paper close chesi pettamo akkada manaki e color kanipistundi green color can be seen the remaining portion it is visible in the color of blue or black color okay whereas this shows that uncovered part contains starch because of the endukante chudandi a green color akada enduku undipoyindante there is no sunlight in that place because of that reason that part of the plant could not prepare the food or the starch by using iodine solution we can identify the presence of starch in the any food substance by doing this experiment we can clearly prove that sunlight is very important for the plants in the preparation of food by using the process called as photosynthesis what is the process called as children photosynthesis as i said that photo means light synthesis means to make them together right so by using the light the so- uh, water from the soil and also carbon dioxide which is present in the atmosphere and the chlorophyll pigment which is present in the plant itself okay so all these things are useful for doing the preparation of food by the leaves so children i hope you have understood this experiment that's all for this video and i request you to follow the videos regularly and listen to them very carefully go through the textbook so that you will learn how to read the textbook part and also do the given homeworks sorry given homeworks regularly without fail so that children simply sitting at home you can learn many things from your subjects i hope children you will follow all these instructions please stay home stay safe thank you